Hi, welcome back to Travel Star 98's Hong Kong vlog. And it's the start of uh, day 3. And now I'm going towards Chui Moon via East Sim Charge Station. And now I'm still in my hotel. I need to go for East Sim Charge Station. This is an Asian road around 5 30 in the morning. It's resuming now and it's still dark here. The Sim Charge MTR station is still closed now. So. Maybe I just walk a few miles towards uh, another exit at Sim Chasway Station. I hope it's already open. So I just stroll along the Nathan Road to find another MTR exit. Looks like I just walk for a few steps and there is a subway exit LG. I hope it's still already open. And as you can see the square is moving now. I'm going down to see the MTR here. Because I will walk towards East Team Shark Street Station of the West Railway inside of the Team Shark Street Station of the train one line. So we go along the way here, underpass towards the EMC Shark Street Station, and just left over here is the Swing Line Team Shark Street Station. So I have to walk for a bit long towards East Team Shark Street Station and. The link between those stations are not paid, so we have to tap out again. Because Isim Shasui Station was the former KCR station, which is the railway operator in Hong Kong before it merged with MTR in 2007. And Isim Shasui was part of the East Rail Line before it handed over to West Rail Line in 2009 when the link between Nam Chong and Isim Shasui is open. And as you can see that the, the harbor view there, the place was actually the real East Sim Shasui station before it became an MTR station here. Until 1970s that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth thought to demolish all the stations and the remaining left is only the clock tower which is called the KCR clock tower and you can still sit at the harbor view area so i'm going to go to harbor view maybe in the evening and i'll show you the clock tower of isim shasui station i'm finally here at the isim shasui station and as you can see here the station is already open and i'm sure the train service already starts or maybe it will start in a few minutes and this is how long I passed. I walk from the Shi Chasui station towards the Yixin Chasui station. So all the fare gates at this station are closed because it's all marked X. So I have to wait for one of them to turn into a green arrow just like the one here. Here is a exit map of Sim Chasui and East Sim Chasui station and actually this long walkway here when I board from when I get up from L3 exit L3 this is uh, actually part of East Sim Chasui station Sim Chasui station is just over here and now uh, some of the fergies are already open so I can tap in my octopus card and board the MTR so here's the train arriving from Hong Kong Seven car train. I don't know if there's an eight car train. I think I see, and also the Hong Kong now. Both of them are seven car trains. So that's fast. Only a few seconds before the door open. Uh, they have quite close on each cars. So uh, yes, they are a bit 
best seat. And unfortunately, it's an unrefurbished SP1900. Yes, P1900 has a uh, TV here and it shows news for Harry Jim Now we're passing West Rail Lines at Home Depot. <coughs> and we're already outside the underground section. So this will be an elevated section after this part of Depot. As you can see here, there's a Sunchen, what you can see from here. So here is the uh, end of the West Rail Line, train station, and now I'm going to be connecting on the light rail, which is bound for Xiu Hong, to go back to the West Rail Line station again, and for the West Rail Line back to Home. I'm at Twin Moon Light Rail Station and I'm gonna board the light rail here towards Yu Hong using Route 751 towards Pinyang. And here is uh, how you board the light rail. You just have the octopus card here. So you don't need to. Uh, there's no fair gates here. And look at the light rail. And there's an old color and a new color. Now I'm on my right platform here, platform number one, and this information still four more minutes for the road 751 to pass. These have two cars. Here is our light rail coming, road 751 for Tinya. Here at Xiong Station, and now I'm going back to the home of the West Rail Line. An eight-car train to Tumul is arriving. Please let passengers exit first. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Our train here is actually refurbished. It was a former Israel Line train. And uh, later I'll see what the train features. It also refurbished and it has a new LED system just like the trains in Japan. Next station, Silhong. Interchange station for light rail. 
I should be a bit careful now because uh, my memory is almost not enough data but I already did some photos and videos here so just need to be aware of that and now I'm at the uh, Hong Kong station there's a uh, in the city train towards China it's the terminus is here in Hong Kong and this is a KDD operated by MTR towards Guangzhou East it's a double decker train now here and maybe I'm going to some stations at Israel right? I'm just waiting for the train now <laughs> I'm on board the Israel line. I use the first class seat. The first class. Just tap uh, on the first class section. Just tap again. So I think it's double the standard class because this goes too low, which is a bit far, which is the border between Hong Kong and mainland China. So this is my breakfast. I go to a nearby McDonald's. Uh, it's a jumbo breakfast. It's a combination of muffin, hotcakes, scrambled eggs, and sausage. Also with a hash brown and some sauces. It's still 9:30 a.m. and the Hong Kong Railway Museum opens at 10. So I just go to a nearby stop here. Also because it's a bit drizzling here. I went to this Monk Mo Temple, which is near the Railway Museum, until the Railway Museum is open. One of the central business activities long ago around this area, which is Tai Woshi, and now it's known as Taipo Market. And here's the inside. This is inside the temple. And as you see, there's a cat over there, and the cat is still sleeping. So now I'm going inside the Hong Kong Railway Museum. But first, is actually a old train station, just the old Taipo Market station. And there are many school kids going inside for study tour, I think. I think there are many school kids inside here, inside this exhibition gallery. Well, this is the old summer for signaling. And as you can see, this photo is with actually the East Sim Shasui station, which is demolished now, as I said this morning. And uh, as you can see, also there is a side view of uh, the harbor view. And now this has become a tourist attraction. This is also the booking office. Yes, we're actually inside the booking office of Taipo Market Station. Here is how the system works. It also looks like KTM using a British style. Uh, because you that look at that uh, hook, it's a token style. These are the KCR tickets before electrification. Uh, and here this is the model of the trains. Uh, down here is the international trains. Maybe like Shinkansen, Eurostar, TGP, and the old Narita Express train. Uh, this MLR, as you see on my previous videos, they were actually, actually like this, but they were here around in 1996. Also, uh, here is the SP1900, and both are still in the KCR livery. Now here is the Intercity KTT train, which is operated in 1997. And this is Tung Chung Line, which runs with the Airport Express in 1998. And also there is the light rail, which I Right, this morning this is the mighty KCR 51 locomotive it's EMD G16 if I'm not mistaken this 
is a preserved locomotive and the name of this locomotive is Sir Alexander this is the old TCR logo which is around the 1960s I think and this logo is a very nice one there's the KCR coaches over there they should have uh, connect to the East Rail one and do regular heritage services especially during weekends I hope they will do that here are the preserved coaches of the former KC Arc services. This is inside the coach and the seats actually can be located just like we have in Indonesia. And this is I think second class seats back then. And it's also affordable though. And it has a wide space. This is the uh, older one, I think it's a third class coach. The seats also can be rotated but these are all made of wood. So finally this is the first class coach and the seats are comfy. Also it has a table in each section. Also, uh, back then they already enforced no smoking laws here. Yes, it's a first class. And the seats cannot be rotated, but it's already good. But you have to place together no matter what. <laughs> well, next here's the Israel line, and this is the Guangdong 2 train passing from Guangzhou towards Hong Kong against the old one I'm back again in the city, I'm eating lunch now at KSC Camden Road and yes, one mashed potato, one brown chicken and one mushroom rice now I'm walking for a star ferry for a while before I was almost confused because I went, I ended up at an MTR exit in Siu Shashui which seems out ought to be what I expected but uh, now I, I find a way to a star ferry here oh yes here is the PCR clock tower I think it's finally being renovated I'm going to Kai Wai now I'm at Ishim Chasui station waiting for the West Rail Line and change it to home and now it's a bit crowded here at the Ishim Chasui station so I'm going to Hong Kong now with the West Rail and change to Israel at Hong Kong towards Taiwan. As you can see next to here, this is the sleeper train. And you can see the inside of the train. It looks very nice though. But too bad I can get a visa and time to use the train. There it goes, the intercity through train, which actually goes to Beijing West, not to Shanghai. But the train to Beijing and Shanghai, they take turns every day, I think. So today Beijing, tomorrow Shanghai, and day after Beijing, and day after again Shanghai. I think it's like that. Now I'm going to explore the Mount Shan line. 
and sadly that the uh, I mean, I mean uh, I have to go down again. It's actually a terminating platform and the train will perform some back siding and we'll the other platform. This is the Maon Shan Line platform and it already fitted with the uh, platform gates. How I see for. Yes, we're gonna use the train which is referring to the siding now and we'll come here and we part for Kaisha. The Maon Chang Line train is the SP1950. It's actually a shorter version of SP1900 Only 4 cars. To be the number of cars. Some of them transfer to West Rail Line and become SP1900. Street is running on the ground, the same level with the street. In between, actually. Now I'm here at Kaisha, the end of Mount Shan Line. I'm going back again to Sai Wai then. I have to go to Admiralty, Pacific Place for a while. I'm back at the Israel Line and then I'll advance Fred, Hong Kong and Xiu Shang Sui again towards Admiralty. And now we just go from Kowloon Tong. So before party place at Melody, I just need to go to a Morrison building to do something to at Wan Chai. Now I'm outside the Wan Chai station already, I'm on the road here and I'll give you a view of the road. Looks like I didn't find the place so I'm waiting for the tram to go to place at Melody now. I'm currently at McDonald's, I'm eating my coffee. I have to see this croissant with the crayfish and seafood. I'm currently on the bus to Star Ferry again. This will spend my last night in there. So, uh, my bus now here is. Uh, in the lower deck is my sister myself, but the upper deck I'm not sure if there are people in the upper deck or not. So this is the view of Hong Island at night now and it's still a bit foggy here. But even if it rains, you can see this actually. Here I give a preview of my state place here, the Chongqing Mansion. There are many Indians and Pakistanis here. You can see here. And thank you for watching today's vlog. Maybe it's my last of a Hong Kong walk. I don't know, I'm sure if I have time for tomorrow, I'll be going back to Jakarta tomorrow. And yes, now is uh maybe it may be the last vlog, so if it's the last vlog, so stay tuned to my videos and thank you for watching my Hong Kong vlog.